Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best budget DSLR cameras. Starting at number 5. Polaroid Go. Budget cameras don't come much cuter than the Polaroid Go. The pint-sized point-and-shoot is supremely easy to use. Its compact retro shell features just a few straightforward controls, complemented by a handy digital shot counter. Fixed focus and no macro mode mean creativity is a little limited, but the Polaroid Go does feature flash override, self-timer and double exposure options to keep analog photographers entertained. Though the credit card-sized prints produced are a little on the small side, their pastel tones and impressive detail give them an eye-catching lo-fi quality. Create big, smaller, portable, wearable, and take anywhere able. The Polaroid Go camera is your new mini partner in creativity. Double exposure, half the size, add another layer to your creative vision with the easy-to-use double exposure feature. Self-timer and selfie ready. Find your light with the reflective selfie mirror and pick your pose with plenty of time. Thanks to the self-timer. New film format. The Polaroid Go camera only takes Polaroid Go format film. It's the same Polaroid magic you know and love, only smaller. Coming at number 4. Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV. If you're an eager beginner who's in the market for a compact mirrorless camera, the Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV should be at the top of your list. An affordable micro four-thirds model, the Mark IV pairs a capable 23MP sensor with impressive in-body image stabilization to deliver consistently attractive images using the kit lens. With footage capped at 4K, flash 30p, and no microphone or headphone input, video isn't a major focus. An ergonomic grip, approachable button layout and handy flip-down touchscreen make the Mark IV an accessible upgrade for smartphone photographers. And with a wide catalog of lenses available, it shapes up one of the best cheap cameras around if you want a modern mirrorless experience. At number 3. Sony Alpha i6000. Don't let the price fool you. The A6000 costs the same as other entry-level DSLR and mirrorless cameras, but it's an advanced and powerful camera that has only dropped to this price through being on the market since 2014. So it may be old, but most of the specifications still look surprisingly fresh today. This includes a 24MP APS-C sensor, a fast hybrid 179-point autofocus system and continuous shooting at 11 frames per second FPS. Its age shows in other areas, though, it only shoots 1080p Full HD video and not 4K, and the screen isn't touch-sensitive. Hybrid AF with 179-point focal plane phase detection and 25. Contrast detect points built in Wi-Fi and NFC. Up to 11 FPS continuous shooting, compatible OS, Windows Vista SP2-8, Windows 7 SP1, Windows 8, Windows 81, Mac OS X, V106, V109. 3-inch tilting LCD with 921,000 dots compatible with Sony E-mount lenses. OLED electronic viewfinder with 100% coverage and 14 million dots. SD-SDHC-SDXC and Memory Stick Pro Duo, Pro HG Duo Memory. Number 2 of my list. Fujifilm X-T200. We're still fans of the Fujifilm X-AT30, but this cheaper, beginner-friendly version of that camera is our favorite mirrorless option for those starting out on their photography or video-making journeys. It's a big improvement over its X-T100 predecessor in almost every way, including autofocus, and has a fantastic 3. 5 inches rear touchscreen. Unlike the Fujifilm X-7, see further down, you also get a viewfinder for framing shots. The only downside is that the subject tracking can be a little hit and miss during burst shooting and isn't available for video, but otherwise this is one of the best cheap cameras around for those who want a new mirrorless model. 5. Inch slash 16 to 9 aspect ratio widescreen LCD touchscreen can be opened and closed between 0 to 180 degrees and rotated between minus 90 to plus 180 degrees. It also provides intuitive and responsive control over the camera's features and functionality, 
and can be used to adjust a variety of settings, like brightness, background blur, film simulation effects and image aspect ratios. The use of on-sensor phase detection pixels across the sensor and an improved prediction algorithm means focus can be achieved quickly and in a variety of imaging environments. The updated face slash eye detection AF makes focusing on individuals or groups of people quickly and easily. This is even possible when the camera's LCD monitor is flipped out and is used to make a selfie. Automated functions, like main subject recognition, allow the camera to be set to recognize and track a main subject within the frame. Combined with a burst mode of 8 frames per second, important moments with the right people will surely be easier to frame, focus, and immortalize. And number 1. Nikon D3500. The Nikon D3400 was a hugely successful and popular DSLR, and the Nikon D3500 has taken its baton into the mirrorless age. DSLRs may be less common now, but they continue to offer excellent value compared to mirrorless cameras due to their optical viewfinders. And the Nikon D3500 remains the best budget camera for beginners. Key changes over the older D3400 include an improved APS-C sensor, though still with 24 MP, and an even better battery life of 1550 frames per charge. Next to the D3400's very capable 1200 shots per charge, you also get a better grip and a slightly redesigned body that's a bit lighter, too. While it also worth considering mirrorless alternatives the Sony A6000, the D3500 is that bit more user-friendly, particularly if you want to use it with longer lenses. It's as easy to use as a point-and-shoot, but it takes beautiful DSLR photos and videos that get noticed. It feels outstanding in your hands, sturdy and balanced with controls where you want them. It's compact, durable and versatile, ideal for travel. And it works seamlessly with compatible smartphones, making it easier than ever to share your great photos. Even if you've never picked up a DSLR camera, you can take beautiful pictures with D3500. Operating frequency, Bluetooth, 2402 to 2480 MHz Bluetooth low energy, 2402 to 2480 MHz. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.